Hey, and welcome to this uh, video in my series, Sub PI PO Patterns. In this one, we are going to look at Sync Async Bridge. Um, so the Sync Async Bridge is if you want to call a uh, web service that's triggered by a file and then deliver this to something else. So for instance, the file fc file or file soap uh, file. Um, where you want to do something differently with the content. Um, so the way this works is you set up your first uh, iFlow that takes the file to, so this would be a normal async iFlow. Then in this adapter, you are setting up how, <laughs> setting up that this one way being should be there and that it should post the response to some other system. Then you're creating a return iFlow where you have a SOAP adapt on. I guess this is just because it needs some kind of adapter for any iFlow to work. And then you have the, the receiving file uh, out here, whatever you want uh, with it. So the configuration of this is the, the only thing you specify here is you want this request response bean. So, uh, and the parameter on this is just pass through, which I guess enable it to, to split it out to something else. And then we got this one way bean module at the end that is then specifying which um, party service it should deliver a message on. I haven't seen that this one is quite working, so I don't know if those parameters is mandatory or if they don't need to be there. Um, I've also seen you can specify interface and stuff like that, but that does not seem to work either. So the only thing that works is that in your, in this iFlow should have the same uh, information, interface information as we have up here just the opposite direction. So let's look at how this is configured. So here we have our configuration. So we are listening on a file a communication channel, read a file, and then we have our REST system. Uh, we're calling a REST uh, URL to get some data back. And the modules here, we have this request response bean that just has passed through as true and we're calling the rest and then we get the response one way being that specified this research training service. If we then look at this, the returning service, we can see we have added in a SOAP channel here that doesn't really have any parameter. I think it's said exactly once, but I, I even tried to put in some fake modules, but it really doesn't matter. And then you got a normal file adapter here that's saving the data into some, some system. Um, so the only thing if you're doing it in iFlow, you need to make sure is that this BC ERP match the system you have over here as the sender system. Uh, and then the receiver system should obviously be the one you have up here. So we got ERT and we got EC here. And then these two interfaces is then the same as we got over here. So it's, yeah, a little trigger getting these things to, to match each other, uh, but it seems like it is working. So if we restart this one and have a look at the messages we're getting, we can see we just processed it. And process it says uh, yeah um, called the response being calling server the JSON is working and then we're getting response back uh, one way being returned with no response which I guess then means that we're getting it up here as a normal processing XI message to the queue. 
and being delivered to, to this uh, file system. So this all seems to work as it's supposed to. So uh, I hope, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's more patterns, there's the sync async and uh, pass-through scenario if you go to picost.com forward slash patterns.